I found for them good house. No, you don't, no, you don't find any house no, for them. Please, please, no, no. If you, you are not, not if you're not, if you're not, you are not finding any house for them. Let's do it. I, I Just give her a chance. Uh, give her a chance. So, 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 she do nothing. You don't know what I'm doing. Surely, already a guy was here. When? When? The guy Tell Yogesh. Me the guy Tell Yogesh. Me when. So, do you actually let me speak? The yes. guy Yogesh was here who is working for WHS. Okay. The clinic is closed till January. He was already here assessing the situation. Okay. He will then take the ba two male dogs and the female dogs when? for sterilization. When? when the clinic is open again, ra? Right? When, when, when? Genius. You have no idea after, what after, I'm doing. After, I'm doing all the time. Come on, after so, two weeks we'll be sincere. So, what is your name? Uh, I can broke your phone if you want. And yeah, you... then then I will even tell the, the police that you hit me yes, and you I broke my phone. You, you did hit you. me, don't, yes. Don't lie, please. please. I, you don't hit me. Don't lie to me. Stop, stop, he stop. hit me in the face with stop, a dog stop, in the stop, back. Stop, stop, please, stop, stop. stop. Please, we wait once to find you. More chance she do what she wants. In a heartbreaking incident which happened at Arambol, a Ukrainian national allegedly took away nine puppies and dumped them in a jungle. But thanks to an animal lover, Elaine, who got information from locals that the puppies are dumped in a remote jungle, she went there and rescued the puppies and reunited them with their mother. But to her shock, the Ukrainian man again came the following week and took back the puppies in a sack. But this is when there was a confrontation between him and the woman who used to feed the puppies but sadly, he managed to take the puppies. Following this, a police complaint was filed. Listen to this heartbreaking story. Big Typhoon brings to you settlement plot at Dargal near Mopai Airport. Price starts from 15,000 rupees per square meter. I found for them good house. No, you don't find any house for them. Please, please, no, no. If you are not, if you not, you are not finding any house for them. Let's do it. I, I Just care. give her a chance. Give her a chance. She do nothing. You don't know what I'm doing. Surely, already a guy was here. When? When? The guy Tell Yogesh. When. The guy Yogesh. Tell me when. So, do you actually let me speak? The yes. guy Yogesh was here who is working for WHS. Okay. The clinic is closed till January. He was already here assessing the situation. Okay. He will then take the ba two male dogs and the female dogs when? for sterilization. When? when the clinic is open again. Ra? When, when, when? when? You have no after, idea what after, I'm doing. After, I'm doing after, all the time. Come on, after so, weeks we'll be sincere. So what is your name? Uh, I can broke your phone if you want. And yeah, then then I will even tell the, the police that you hit me yes, and you I broke my phone. You, I you did hit you. me, don't, yes. Don't lie, please. I, you hit me. Don't lie to me. So, so, stop, he stop. hit me in the face with a dog stop, in the back. Stop, stop, please, stop, stop. Please, stop. Please, stop. Please, stop. we wait once to find you. What chance should do what she wants? Я, я, я не против. Просто если вы заберете, вы за ним смотрите, вы за ним что делаете, потом если вы уедете, вы заберете его куда угодно с собой. Только не оставляйте здесь. Ну, по-честному. Я, я, я не хочу вреда собакам, но я не хочу их видеть здесь. Ну, потому что я хочу ночью спать. Ну, мне кажется, вот эти две собаки. Не, не, не. Вот они просто вырастают и вот весь ночь, всю ночь все лает. Я не хочу, я больше тоже вывезу, как бы, поэтому. Если вам нужно еще тушь, как бы, ну, смотрите. Uh, my name is Elena Chuchenko and I am a feeder and the rescuer in Arambol, Mandrem and uh, uh, Ashram community. I'm this is my helper. daughter. I'm her <laughs> helper for the dogs. And once we found that we had puppies, we found them and we started feeding them and making like adoption thing signs and everything but then this ukrainian man got the puppies drove them away the lady the lady was feeding them and taking care of them living close to them she went to the beach then came back there is no puppies then someone found the puppies and i was trying to ask for help we got them back and my, my mom was talking to him the man and he said that he 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 is working the the indian he, my mom talked to him, she tried to record him, but he just went away home. Then second time, we go, we went to the place, the 
Lila dog the the dog rescuer she saw that he was driving away the puppies again second time and then he tried to stop him from the bag take away the bag but then he got the bag with the puppy inside and hit him on hit her on the head it's really bad but now he only took four of the puppies there's nine he left five and took the four little ones and that's the five the remaining five that pooped and peed in my car because we don't know what to do with them it's not safe to bring them back and uh, so far we cannot we cannot take them we live in an apartment and locals don't like dogs and uh, we don't know where to where to place them so i'm just going to repeat the story that my daughter said uh, uh about a week ago or 10 days ago i've got a call from uh, the follower uh feeder she was feeding nine puppies at her place uh, the puppies were from two different mothers four younger one from one mother and five older one the one we have with us right now they are from another mother so both mothers were uh, breastfeeding them and uh, one day she went to the beach and when she came back all puppies were gone she started asking locals if they know where puppies are and the locals said that they saw white uh, men taking them she assumed that it's a ukrainian guy who already threatened her in puppies before he said that he will poison them or kill them because other bigger dogs adult dogs they uh, don't let him sleep at night and he sees puppies as a potential threat to his restful night in the future so he took all the puppies uh, and uh, placed them some in the middle of nowhere luckily the first time uh, people found them and they reported to the uh, group to the volunteers uh, group and we were able to go with my daughter and at night and rescue them and, and bring them back to the mamas and uh, now last night what happened he shamelessly if first time he did it no one saw him he shamelessly came to the feeder at the time she was feeding puppies and uh, start putting the little ones uh, the little uh, litter in the back and when she st uh, wanted to stop him try to stop him uh, he hit her with the back with puppies inside on her head puppies were crying and the lady was in shock so she got kind of scared of him she could not stop but she recorded him taking puppies away and uh, four of them are gone we don't know where he placed them they spent the night away probably horrified and uh, hungry at the moment if they're still alive i'm not sure he could have just threw them away in bushes one by one and away or he placed them together as last time he did uh, uh, we don't know he doesn't say the five that he did not take because they were bigger and older uh they're with us right now as i said um and uh, <clears throat> we don't know where to place them yet because at the moment police did not come yet uh animal rights activist and a lawyer did not come to talk to him yet so if we bring puppies back he can do as well take them and throw them away somewhere which is illegal so that's the situation and uh, i believe it's not confirmed but wh that's what the man said that locals kind of encouraged him and gave him permission to do so they didn't do them des uh, they themselves they told him that it's okay to take puppies and throw them away so he's doing good for the community and they even gave permission and asked him to do the same with mothers and we are trying to sterilize mothers uh, as soon as they stop breastfeeding which is going to happen pretty soon in yeah, a couple so of weeks. Yeah, so they don't have puppies because if you st don't sterilize them, they'll have more puppies and more puppies and that's going to be more work. Yes, uh, so the solution is uh, befriending dogs, feeding them that they don't fight at night and then sterilizing them so the population does not grow as this case. Locals knew about this uh, uh, you know every year it happens and they did nothing i'm not sure what happened to puppies last year probably the same thing someone threw them away and killed them uh but this year we're on in this situation and we're gonna catch mothers and sterilize when time comes uh that's where we are uh we're trying to find those poor black puppies he took uh, away and we're looking for a safe place for the remaining five yeah the remaining remaining five they're cute. They're sleeping right now and relaxing right now. They're... And they put in the car because they can't.